drugs. Oh, not those type of drugs, those type of drugs. Why is the price of prescription drugs so doggone high? We've got 66 seconds to... Break it down. President Trump says he wants to bring down the price of prescription drugs. Said it during the campaign, again last night during the State of the Union. It hasn't happened yet, and doing so is kind of complicated. Insurance companies, they simply will not pay for some drugs, including some alternatives to opioids. That's an entirely different problem. R&D, not Republicans and Democrats, research and development. Drug companies say it costs them a lot to make the drugs. However, a study from Harvard Medical School found at least some of that research and development money comes from federal grants or from venture capitalists looking to make back their investment. Patents in this country, drug companies have a virtual monopoly to sell drugs 20 years or more without competition from cheaper generics. Drug companies in the United States also set the drug prices. Most of the rest of the world, the government sets those prices. Therein lies the rub. Some say more government price control would help. Alex Azar, former president of Eli Lilly here in Indianapolis, he is President Trump's new Health and Human Services Secretary, and he does not believe in government price controls.